I am Alan Brown and I was the program manager and first chief engineer for the F-117 stealth fighter. Okay, let's talk about how stealth works on a real airplane. Very simply, if I'm looking at a flat surface at right angles to the radar, if something like this were one square meter, it would have a radar return of a thousand square meters. If I move it back just about eight degrees, not very much, it drops from a thousand square meters to one square meter. And if I move it down to a very shallow angle, like about 20 degrees to horizontal, it's now down to one ten millionth of what it was when it was up there. Hi, I'm Carl Carter. I'm Senior Manager for Signature Integration at Lockheed Martin Aeronautics. We're here today at the Hellendale Measurement Facility. We're out in the middle of the Mojave Desert. This is ground zero for Stell. You can see behind me is the antenna farm. You notice we use different size antennas. Each size represents a different frequency band. The energy is transmitted through the antenna and propagates downrange. This energy is both a time-bearing electric and magnetic field such that when it strikes the object, it's reflected back toward the antennas. We collect the energy and measure just how stealthy we've been able to make that object that we're measuring. Every operational stealth aircraft that's in service today was developed right here in this very facility. What a radar does is it sends out a beam of electromagnetic energy. If there's an object in that beam, that object scatters energy back to the radar and the radar can detect that. If we make that object look smaller and smaller and smaller to the radar, to the point where he can't detect it, then we've done our job. Uh, it's kind of hard to obtain an aircraft when you're still developing one. Here we can make a mock-up of it, a, a model of the aircraft, put it on top of a pylon, run it up and test it at a lot of different angles. We can test different elevation angles, we can test different azimuth angles, and it's much less expensive than having to fly a vehicle past the test radar. This is the operations center at the Hellendale Measurement Facility. This room has been used to collect data on some of the most famous aircraft in history, and for a number of designs that I can't talk about. What we typically do here is take data to see if it matches our designs, matches our predicted data. And then when it comes out as low as possible, that's always a good thing. Well, I see a lot of things coming. I see stealth technology evolving. I see it being used on a lot more platforms, a lot more aircraft, a lot of other things also. Uh, right now, an aircraft designed in the late 50s and early 60s holds the world speed record. I see aircraft being designed that'll go Mach 6, we're working on aircraft to go Mach 10. So uh, uh, Flash Gordon is, is coming, and I see that really in our future.